Hi there, I'm Michael Carr. Welcome to Karma's first episode of Ask an Expert. This is gonna be a series where we ask different experts in filmmaking and television different challenges that they come across when they're out there in the field and how they deal with those challenges. First up, we got a really good friend of mine, Dave Garcia. Let's check it out. So here we are, I have my friend Dave Garcia. Welcome Dave, thank you so much for joining me today. No problem. Dave is a, a good friend of mine. We go back many, many years. He actually has two companies he's part of, one Combined Media and the other Basecamp Supply, both here in Los Angeles. One of the reasons I want to talk to Dave about this particular topic is because he is probably the one of the most versatile cinematographers I know. He shot everything from music videos, interviews, branded content. He shot the likes of, you know, DJ Khaled, The Rock, Olivia Wilde, Kids' Choice Awards. So Dave has been in this situation many times. And what we've been seeing at Karma a lot lately is shine on actors' faces, right? So so we get hit up by agencies and production companies that say the actor wants a beauty pass or the producers feel like they're too shiny. We can actually reduce shine in color, but it's never gonna be as good as it could be if it just weren't to happen on set in the first place. Right. So I kind of want to ask you, as a cinematographer, since you've been out there, what are the types of scenarios where you see shine on actors' faces and how to mitigate that in production? <laughs> I would say it's, it's interesting to me that, that anybody would actually turn in footage that has that <laughs> but but i also understand obviously there's sometimes there's circumstances where you just have to let things go whether you know there's be time sometimes the actors you know their time on set is expiring and you have no choice so have you ever seen a situation where the footage comes back and, and the actor has shine on their face in an interview and you know exactly why and it's something you couldn't mitigate for whatever reasons like what are some of those reasons it's happened definitely a couple times where you walk away you know talent has a hard out they've got to be on the road because most of the time when it's especially when it's like big name actors their schedule is packed and they got to be out at 2 p.m exactly and sometimes mm -hmm not necessarily even the DP's fault or anybody's fault, just production fell behind in the schedule. They, get, they sit in the chair a little later and all of a sudden you have three minutes or 10 minutes or whatever it is, but they run out of time. And that's yeah. where the, you know, a producer or a director makes the decision like, no, we don't have time to send in a makeup artist to, to touch them up. Nobody's ever really happy about that, but sometimes I guess it's better than not getting it, right? Going into a shoot, what are the things that you want to have, like the tools you want to have at your disposal to ensure that the actor's going to look nice and, and flat with no shine? You know, there's reflective angles and those types of things that you're going to play with too, with lighting that are going to change how mm -hmm. pronounced maybe like a shiny head of a, of a bald actor might be, you know, and that's the stuff that you have to kind of play with angles, you know, where the camera is in relationship to the light and the object that the light's bouncing off of. I mean, honestly, the biggest thing there is really just makeup that's bringing in a makeup artist to powder and and take away the shine is probably going to going to do most of the work the grip and lighting control to soften up these sources and spread them evenly or whatever but those aren't things that require a ton of labor or cost but they take time honestly i feel like that's the that's the biggest challenge is always time it sounds like the biggest tool that you have at your disposal is makeup, right? So yeah. is it, you know, making a culture on set from the get go where you're talking to the makeup person where you're like, hey, if we need to stop down for a minute to jump in there, we like yeah. I'm cool with it. I mean, ultimately it's like a director and a producer that are probably making the call of like, oh, we can keep moving. Some directors aren't even paying attention to these things. Like they're not looking for shine and they're they're relying yeah. on their makeup artist or the DP to call it out. I would say nine times out of 10, if, if, if possible, I try to have a monitor for hair and makeup in celebrity situations, especially. Last question I have for you. You've been on sets before where there's like an atmosphere of people being like scared of the talent. Can you kind of talk a little bit about how to deal with that? I see that more on like the TV side of things. This is just my experience. The Kids' Choice is a good example where, you mm -hmm. know, we might do some type of package or something with a celebrity where, you know, let's just, you know, even if it's just an interview or something like that, right? You know, it's not one of those situations where the director has all this, has like a rapport with an actor or their team or has even the time to develop that. It's like, they just get dropped into our set and they're like, you got 20 minutes. And maybe it's just a personality type, but I've, I've definitely seen it enough times where it's it stands out that it's just whatever the talent says and their team says just goes. They're just not willing to like stand up for what they're to do, you know, whatever they need to say to do their job, right? They're just like, 
yeah, whatever they want. Cool. They just kind of cater to the celebrity, which I get it. They don't want to piss them off. They want them to come back next year. And there's all these politics and stuff. And part of that culture is too, is also the actor. Cause there's, there's also a lot of actors you come across that really, they allow for enough time. I'm never afraid to speak up because I'm also not speaking up to the talent directly. Well, this was good, man. Thank you. So it sounds like just to, just to wrap up, it sounds like obviously makeup is number one thing. Lighting, not having too harsh of lights, having, you know, nice soft lighting for your interview, you know, yeah. for your talent. But then thirdly, it's like the culture. It's like the on-set culture is hugely yeah. important. Well, great, Dave. Thank you. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. this. This is no great. Worries. I think it's going to help some people out. Yeah, no worries. Hopefully um, this helps, helps you guys sympathize with us <laughs> monkeys on set. Thanks for thinking of me, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely, Dave. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate your time, man.